Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we're back in my kitchen for another cooking cruise food challenge and today we're making Carnival Cruise Lines warm apple cobbler. Yum! I've had this on my cruises before and it is so good. Let me know in the comments below if you've had it before as well. We're gonna give it a go with the challenge and try and make it here at home. Hopefully it's just as good. The recipe looks easy enough so we'll see how we do. Let's get started with the ingredients. So we can't have apple cobbler without our apples. So we need our apples peeled, cored, and sliced, and we need one pound of them. So that equals up to about four apples or about three apples, depending on the size of them. Next for the filling, we need four ounces of sugar, and we'll also need one fourth cup of sugar for the crumble. Continuing with the filling, we will need two tablespoons of flour. We will need one teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and just one tablespoon of butter, which I haven't cut yet. We'll also be adding two ounces of water. So these are all the ingredients for our filling and we also have the ingredients for the crumble. So for the crumble, we need two cups of flour and a fourth cup of sugar, two tablespoons of baking powder, one pinch of baking soda, a pinch of salt, eight tablespoons of butter, which is a whole stick, and one ounce of whipping cream. So there we have it. We have all of our ingredients for the crumble and the filling, and now we are ready to preheat the oven. Now we're ready to turn on the oven and preheat it to 350 degrees. Our first step is to grease a nine inch pie pan with butter. I think that's plenty there. And we are going to combine all of the filling into a bowl. Set this off to the side. So we're going to need to add all of the apples, peeled, cored, and sliced. So it's really handy if you have one of these apple cores. Uh, they make your life a little bit easier for this part right here. Oh, look at the juice. Nice. Perfect pieces here. That one, my hand slipped a little bit there, so just get a little bit of the extra core. Next up is to add four ounces of sugar. For those who didn't know, a liquid measuring cup and a solid measuring cup are about the same, so it's going to be about a half a cup of sugar and you can use really either, they're just about the same. Next up is our two teaspoons of flour. One, two, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. This one here is a half, so two of these. Next, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to eyeball this one and one teaspoon of vanilla. Have you guys ever bought vanilla in a port of call? I know it's very popular to buy vanilla in Cozumel. And we have two ounces of water, which is a fourth of a cup. And lastly, for the filling, a teaspoon of butter. We'll use our pal Mickey here, Chef Mickey, to give us a hand. And we are going to toss all this together. So just mix it up so that all the sugar and cinnamon and butter and good stuff gets mixed in together. Oh, 
All right, so now that this is mixed up together here, we're just gonna pour it into our pie plate. So I was just thinking, I was wondering if these apple slices were gonna be too big. It doesn't say to make it smaller, but I guess if you wanted to, you can make it a little more bite-sized and cut up the pieces smaller. So we'll just put this off to the side and we will make the crumble, the topping here. So we need two cups of our flour. Let's get this going. One, two, and one fourth cup of sugar. We have our baking powder and we need two teaspoons. Next, we need just the pinch of the baking soda. This is not even opened yet. So for a pinch, I'm just gonna toss a little in here. I think that's about a pinch. And a pinch of salt again and our eight tablespoons of butter. Lastly, one ounce of the whipping cream. And here goes the whipping cream. One ounce or an eighth of a cup. We'll mix all this up together now. And now we're ready to mix this up. Next up, we're just gonna use this crumble here to carefully decorate it over our apples. All right, spread that up evenly here. That looks really nice as we spread across the crumble. And our next step is to put this in the oven and bake for 35 minutes. So we'll leave this in at 350, 35 to 40 minutes or until it's golden brown. All right, now it is time to dig in to our delicious warm apple cobbler. We've let it cool just a little bit and we're ready to dig in and give it the official taste test. Now, if you want to top this up with a nice side, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, that'll do it. Look at those apples. Mmm, yum. All right. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it almost fell off the plate. It's still warm, so that's very good. The crumble is kind of interesting. It's a little uh, thicker than I would have thought it was, uh, but it's very good. It's sweet. It's uh, I like the apples, how they taste, and they're nice and soft inside and baked thoroughly. I think I was just expecting the crumble to be more moist. It's actually uh, kind of dry. Maybe extra uh, butter in there, or maybe more of the whipping cream would have made it a little bit uh, more moist, but it's still good. So friends, I hope you enjoyed the video And if you decide to make some warm apple cobbler at home as well with this recipe Make sure you tag me in your photos share them with me in my Facebook group travel the world from A to Z I want to see what you're making for the cruise food challenge at home as well If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already and check out these other two cooking videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, ciao for now.